Boo! Let's see! Everybody! Everybody! Applauded! Only five people here, guys. Okay. We're doing our live. Okay. Let's see. I'm waiting for everybody to join in. Vivian Mafia. How are you, my love? Laura. Hola. 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 Jace Caruso, my love. How are you? Batista. My God. A lot of people coming in. I love this. Um, Iris, Hamandus, Batista, Viviana Mafia again. Hello, everybody. I'm super excited. Hola, Laura. Thank you for joining. I'm very excited and I haven't had coffee. So here we go. So welcome. And I'm sorry, my mask is keep falling, but we have to be very disciplined with the mask. So we have our bi-weekly live between Raul Peñaranda and a tempo. And as every two weeks, we want to be inclusive and we want to show you not only the last, the latest of trends in fashion, but the people behind who make everything so beautiful. This time we have a special and very, very special guest. I met her last year. She came to my show. She's an artist. She's incredible, generous, unstoppable. And here we have Sana. Welcome to the live. Look at this. Nice how, to be here. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm happy she, to be here. She was telling me she was nervous before, but you're not nervous right now, right? right. All there right. you go. <laughs> so, Sana, tell us a little bit about you. Well, I'm a native New Yorker. There you go, New Yorker. I live in St. Albans, Queens, in the house I grew up in. There you go. I'm an artist. Perfect. I'm a humanitarian. Beautiful. And I'm wonderful. There you go. <laughs> See, this is the kind of people we love to have now. I'm going to just basically show the amazing work tell us tell us about this project this is on apron correct this is an apron and it's called the apron project it is made by girls that i work with in cambodia who were once trapped in the sex industry against their will wow i've been working there for 14 years wow. and i noticed there's a population of girls that don't succeed if they don't get rescued young enough wow so i started the apron project so they could make aprons for me to bring back to you guys to sell for them to improve their lives. Look at this amazing. From so Cambodia, tell us the inspiration of this one. This is almost like your summer yellow. It's, tell us a little bit. It's, it's everything. Because the girls are coming from a culture where there's very little, we're recycling. Right. So that's why you see the mix match wonderful arrangement of things because they're using fabric that was once a curtain and then they're using fabric that was once a pair of pants. You, are, they're all recyclable fabrics. All of these are made from remnants of something else. And then they have pockets because as a ceramicist, we need pockets to keep our oh, tools. You in. know the pockets is the number one item that people totally. are looking for when they do buy? No, I love pockets. Show us the back. Show us the back of the apron. Look back at look the apron. At apron. Is like this. So it How like fabulous. Like this, this is fantastic. Like now, this. let me show you this too. Tell us about this, this tool. So these are just two other fabulous aprons made from drapery, fabric that the girls have, fabric that their parents have, donations, wow. things that people give me, and things that I take from my house where I grew up that well, are remnants. Well, Sana, you know what? Again, a project, Gambodia, and, and because the girls are alive, and, and th th this, is, this is a project of the girls for, in Cambodia, correct? Right. This is for a population of girls in Cambodia that haven't been as lucky as girls in our culture. Amazing. Now, tell us where they can find you and where they can find more information. Any Instagram, Instagram email? Instagram, Facebook, also oh. sanamusasama.com. That's es my website. Spell that for us. S-A-N-A-M-U-S-A-S-A-M-A. Uh -huh. -A -A. There you go. And you know what? Not only she has these amazing uh, pieces, but tell us about these amazing bags. Well, this year, what we started to do very differently because I've been doing it for 14 years. 14 years, guys. And we have so many aprons, I decided to diversify and make <laughs> bags. So here's a bag that we started just this year. And the thing that's really important for me is pockets once again. So you have a pocket on the inside out of another kind of fabric and a pocket on the outside. So this is just something I just started this year. And I think it's going to be very successful. I think everyone is going to love them. Can we see it on you, the Sure. So wow, cute. this is fantastic. Now, Shana, they're asking me how long it takes to do each of these bags, each piece. When we're training, it takes a whole day for a girl to learn how to make one. Wow. But once she's learned it, she takes them back to her village. And I go once a year. When I come back, I got 30, 40 aprons. Oh, so, my God. God bless you. Know. you. Now, they're also is telling me that they have such a fashion and almost like an African sensibility. 
Is that part of the theme or that happened to be? You know, it may, but you know, this is traditional Cambodian fabric. I just think that early cultures all reminisce of the same kind of love. Oh, that's you know what I, mean? I love and it. And you see the same patterns, but this is Cambodian traditional fabric. Yeah. They show us these two. Look at these, so, these two. Oh my God. These two are recycles. These, wow. This was an old pair of drapes of my mom. And I took it with me. You've got the pockets here, the pockets on the inside. And so this is a Cambodian traditional kind of shape to a bag and look at these guys it's so, so amazing beautiful. and it's kind so of a like unisex because i totally, think totally. i think this is fantastic Absolutely. the aprons are unisex as well and beautiful wear them. The, and the other thing here's another bag and the other thing that's important is the aprons are so beautiful they can be worn as an outfit they oh, don't wow. have to be aprons wow. you can just put on the, wear it with pl back pants and, and ready to go ready to go if you, can, if you can describe the sensibility of your work in three words what what those words would be oh it'd be passion love, uh -huh. love for little girls fantastic and freedom. freedom beautiful freedom tell us about oh my god guys look at this mm -hmm. little unbelievable like like you yes. have to see the detail on each of those look at this so tell us about this beautiful collection what would happen every year is the girls would have all these remnants of little pieces of fabric left over from making the aprons and they looked at it and said let's make something with these and so they came up with this idea these are napkin holders so this is oh, where wow. you put your napkins and wow. hold it and how beautiful is that to have that as a napkin holder so this is their creation and it's also they, part of the fabric that you use remnants, for everything is pieces of Fantastic. the fabric that are all around our feet and they pick them up and they create oh, something else. wow that's great for now what can you keep masks there. yes oh they yeah. also somebody just gave me a great idea there you to go put your mask <laughs> in and keep your mask clean i'm always looking for plastic bags this is far more Track. Fantastic. <laughs> now, what are the new projects that you're working on? Oh, the Gambodia project, so you have something else? We're expanding on the bags. Beautiful, expanding on the bags. We're expanding on the bags, but I can't go next week because of the virus. So well, I, I can't go back until next year. But, you but know, the girls right now are making bags. And how, if you tell people where they can help with donations or with anything, how can they do that? Like, they can donate to Together One Heart. It is the satellite organization in the United States. Together One Heart. We're you gonna donate. put the link at the bottom, okay you guys? Mm -hmm. So Sana, it was such a pleasure having you. Mm -hmm. This is what we love to do. This mm -hmm. is like designing with a mission. And, mm -hmm. and you know what? We need to support each other. Sandra, let's say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, Social everyone. distance. Thank you, happy Bye. holidays. Take care. <laughs> Wonderful. Nice. Perfect. Perfect.